Good everyone and welcome back to King Great Air Guns. Now if you use a ballistic apps to obtain a firing solution for your particular rifle, there's particular data that you need to enter into that to make it accurate. Part of the details is the make and model of your rifle so that you've got that note of what you're actually using if you've got multiple different rifles that you're putting into your ballistics apps. And the other data is the slug pellet specifics, i.e. the length, the grain, the FPS value that you've got it firing at. And now Going back to the rifle, one of the data points that you need for your rifle is the actual twist rate of the rifling and the actual direction of that twist. If you've got an FX, then there's a simple way to be able to obtain that. In my instance, I've got an FX Impact Mark III. It uses liners, and I'm going to show you how to obtain that information so that you can accurately put it into your app to be able to get the best possible firing solution for maximum accuracy. Without further ado, Let's get into this FX Impact Mark III and see how we can obtain that specific data to put into our application. So let's get into it. Okay, let's get into the nuts and bolts of it. So you've got your FX Impact Mark III and the first thing you want to do is obviously degas your entire rifle. I've pre-done mine already, so um, but basically unscrew, as I've done, shown in my previous videos, unscrew the reservoir hole until it starts to leak out the air and then re completely remove the hole and then once you've done that you want to drain the plenum because you're working with the barrel itself you don't want any air in that system at all cock the rifle point it in a safe direction pull the trigger and hold it and then cock the rifle again and pull the trigger and hold it it normally takes two attempts but then what you'll hear is the plenum draining all the air out of your system. Basically, once your gauge is all read zero and you've got no air in your system, it's at that point that you can proceed to the next step. Unscrew your moderator from the end. I typically remove the entire barrel itself and then put the rifle to the side. So release your three mil barrel retaining bolt. Doesn't have to come all the way out, you just need to release it. Then at this point, you can move your barrel left and right slightly as you're pulling on it, and it will release the barrel from your system. Pull it out. What I'm gonna do now is put the rifle to the side. Now then, the next step is you've got this shroud here, so you can unscrew this till that comes off. So you have this end piece here with the thread on, and you've got two flat surfaces which you can use a spanner on, and then you just unthread it. There's quite a thread on it but unthreaded from the system. That then gives you the end of the barrel liner. And you can just literally pinch it with your fingers and you can pull on it and then the barrel liner will come out. There's normally a couple of O-rings on there. Yep, there is one. And the other one seems to come out. Here it is. Put the O-ring back on. Okay, so now we've got the liner out. What we want to do is, there's two key points that we have on these liners. The first thing is that on one end, you have a very tiny groove close to the end. That's the end that goes in first to marry up with your pellet slug transfer port. It's basically the first point of contact when you're loading a pellet or a slug. So it will go into that end of the barrel and it will exit this end of the barrel. And the second thing to note, and why you're basically, what you're trying to track down in this particular video, is your twist rate. You will see the rifling on the out the casing of the barrel, but as you rotate the barrel, you will see some fine, you will see some FX print on the side of the barrel itself, the liner. And on there, you have the 
FX stamp, you have the model of the barrel. In this case, it's an SDX Superior. It's a 0.22, and then you have TR. That is your twist rate. And in here, it's got 1 in 24. So that's the key point you're looking for, is that TR and the value that's after it. That will tell you your twist rate to put into your app. Then if you basically pick it up with the ring on the end towards you, you can see the, the direction of the rifling. In this case, it goes around to the right, and that's the second instance that you need to enter. So that's the quick method to be able to get your actual twist rate, and the direction of the twist rate is by pulling the liner out of your barrel and then basically reading the information on the liner itself. Okay, I hear you ask, what happens if there's no writing on the barrel? How do you work out your twist rate? Well, this is the end with the ring on that goes into the breech. So this is the end closest to your pellet and slug transfer port. Put a mark on one of the rifling slots that have been pressed in, and then you want to follow that all the way around the barrel until it's done a complete revolution and then it's come back up and it's in line with the original mark. It's at that point that you measure from the end of your barrel to that second mark and determine the value. In this case, it's 609 millimeters, which when you transfer that into inches, it's 24. So what it's telling you, the twist rate is one revolution for 24 inches, which is what it is. So that's how you can work it out on the FX if you don't have any writing on your liner itself. To put it all back together, all you've got to do is basically make sure your O-rings are in place. Make sure that you've got the ring on the end that you're going to go in first. Slide that into your barrel. When you get to the O-ring, there's a thread on the end, so it's a bit tighter. So just take your time and just be gentle and just push it in once it's gone past the threads then it just slides down and you want to do the same when you get to the second go ring and just ease it through once it gets past the threads it's, it's good and then all you do is you push it through and then you'll feel it locate into its recess down the other end. Once you've done that, you then get your threaded retaining screw and then rotate that down and then it will locate. If you want to cinch it up or you need to undo it, then it's a 10 mil spanner on them two flat surfaces. Once you've got that in, you then locate your outer shroud. There is an o-ring in there, so just nice and gentle. It will go down until it stops, and then you just need to rotate it onto that threaded nut. So rotate it until it stops. Here we go. That's up to there. Get your modifier, do your screw up, and then all you do is you rotate your modifier, into there. Now you can get your rifle back up and you can insert it. Again, when you're working with your O-rings that actually have the part of the working parts of your rifle essentially, where there's air pressure involved, then you want to put silicon grease on. The two that were on the barrel are more of a locating to keep the, the actual liner in the centre, where these are actually holding back the air and you want to make sure that they are basically sealing as best they possibly can. Hence the reason you put silicon grease on. Then twist it 
to your required port. In my instance, I want the slug port. So I'm putting the slug port facing me, locate it within the port itself. Nice and gently slide it in. Once you get close to this end, I've got the slug port facing me and the port that you want to be used, in my instance, I can say it's the slug port, that wants to be facing down. So now you can rotate it through a quarter of a turn. You can start pushing it into its place. And then just move it backwards and forwards slightly until it clunks. There's a locating slot that it needs to locate. So there should only be about a mil or so of that brass showing on the end of your barrel. Once you've got that in place and you're good there, you can then use your three mil or hex head to do up your barrel retaining bolt. Thanks everyone. If you like our videos, then please like and subscribe. And if you haven't already, please come and follow our community on Facebook at King Great Air Guns. Thanks very much. Take care, shoot straight. Ciao for now.